So in lesson 3.4, uh, cross out the incorrect words in the sentences. So you should know by now we're not going to cross out, we're going to write the complete sentence because that's good for you to practice writing English. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, learn, using the present continuous is they give you the present continuous form of the verb, wearing, reading, carrying, climbing, working. So what we're going to do first is we're going to figure out which uh, form of to be is correct when we're doing this. So in this case, they, we know that I am, he, she, it, is, we, you, we, they, are. So they are wearing hats. So since the subject is they, the verb has to match. It's are. So that's going to be real important. You need to find the subject, and then that will tell you which form of the verb to use. All right, so refer back to your chart if you need to. Um, do lessons one through eight, sorry, do sentences one through eight. Write out the complete sentence with the correct word. So for example, the sentence would say, they are wearing hats. Go ahead and pause the video and do this. And when you come back, I will play the audio and show you the correct sentences. All right, so let me go ahead and play the audio. Let me play the example first. They are wearing hats. So I'm going to pause after each one so you can repeat the sentence and practice speaking uh, English. So they are wearing hats. And number one. Sharon is reading a book. Number two. I am carrying my laptop. Number three. My cat is climbing a tree. Number four. We are working at the moment. Number five. They are having their dinner. Number six. He is talking to his dad. Number seven. I am driving to work right now. And number eight. They are watching the movie. All right, and so let's look at the correct uh, sentences. Here we go. Sharon has to be is because a name or he, she, it. Sharon can be replaced by the pronoun she. So you have to use is. Sharon is reading a book. I am. You have to use that. Am. Cat. Cat is the subject. It is an it or he, she. So you have to use is. We are. They are. He is. I am. And they are. So if you have that um, chart memorized for the forms of the verb to be, then all you have to do is find the subject and you'll know which form of the verb to use. Then for present continuous, you just have to take this verb and add the ing. All right, let's go on to the next one. 